Right, it's early in the morning. I'm at Milton Keynes Stadium for Collector Mania 23, which is taking place here, right next to the pitch. So here are where the R2-D2 builders are going to be with our sand crawler backdrop. I've got my droids here, but no one else is here yet. And everything is spread around the edge of the stadium. There's lots of costuming groups and things. Various other people with big backdrops of photos. This is quite a good one, Milton Keynes Garrison, which is the local group. Looks like celebrities are going to be sitting here, Dave Prowse and co, and various other people. Here we go, it's a couple of Ghostbusters. And we also have sports personalities, wrestlers, boxers and footballers, which is uh, one of the unusual things about this event being in a sports stadium. And this is the queue for early bird tickets, so it's five pounds before 11 a.m and free afterwards. Quite a lot of hopeful people. There's still about an hour till doors. And it's raining. Some more droids have arrived, but I'm not sure where the owner is. I assume they're with us. We'll see who, the, who they belong to in a moment, hopefully. Some more droids have arrived all members of the club and we are literally just here right next to the pitch So this is the queue to see Frank Bruno, who's not at his seat yet. Apparently he's here today. There are 
a lot of sports personalities here as well as sci-fi today. In fact, probably more. But anyway, we're right back to the beginning now. I think, if I walk down here. to come in for free it looks like an awful lot of people waiting in the rain so it's about to get very crowded and they're off the general public a lot of them for some reason this year some of the exhibitors are in a marquee outside Which is nice. Saturday, they seem to be watering the pitch for some reason, and we're clearing down. And some of us are back tomorrow. So I'm in the hotel. My room got upgraded to an executive suite and only paid £69. So that was pretty surprising. They said they had more availability. It probably means they've run out of normal rooms. And they said the mini bar is complimentary, which is really unusual. Normally, you know, like disturb one can and you get billed three pounds. So I confirmed with them twice, what, like this uh, mini bar is complimentary. And they're like, yeah, just have anything. And here's the mini bar. It's a little fridge that lives down here. What's in the mini bar, the free mini bar? Prepare to be amazed. There are 
two Kit Kat chocolate bars, and two cans of Diet Coke, and that's all that's in there. There is, of course, free tea and coffee, though, and biscuits, which is okay. And it's time to charge some batteries. Fortunately, there's three power points that work, so I can charge all my batteries up for tomorrow. Sunday morning, there's less builders here today, mainly two so far, 